Hello, and welcome to the Songwriters Workshop. This is the series where I attempt to write songs based on the process and techniques of famous songwriters. Each video looks at a different songwriter's writing habits, musical inspirations, and creative process, while also including an original song written using those techniques. So let's take a look at our next songwriter. For this video, we will be looking at folk songwriter Aeneas Mitchell. Aeneas released her first album in 2002, and the following year won the New Folk Award at the Kerrville Folk Festival. Her albums include Hymns for the Exiled in 2004, The Brightness, released under Andy DeFranco's Righteous Babe label in 2007, and one of my favorite folk albums, Young Man in America, released in 2012. For this video, however, we will mainly be focusing on a concept album originally released under Righteous Babe that grew into a hit Broadway musical, Hades Town. The research for this video comes from Aeneas' book, Working on a Song, The Lyrics of Hades Town, which contains all the lyrics for the musical, as well as Aeneas' notes on her writing and rewriting process, and the background for the songs of Hades Town. Hades Town is an account of the Greek myth of Orpheus, who falls in love with Eurydice and must travel to the underworld to save her from the clutches of Hades. Problem. Name is Hades, Lord of the Dead. Hi, how you doing? Uh, not now, okay? Hades Town was first performed in 2006 with Aeneas playing Eurydice, and was later made into a concept album in 2010. In 2012, Aeneas sought the help of director Rachel Chavkin, who had a major role in developing the musical into what we know today. Hades Town opened on Broadway in 2019, and would go on to win, amongst others, the Tony Awards for Best Musical and Best Score. When starting out on this project, I knew I wanted to write a song that was sort of a microcosm of Hades Town, so I decided to tell the story of another Greek mythological character, Icarus. So the first thing I did was lay out the story of Icarus so I could get an idea of what story points I would need to convey during the song. If you are unfamiliar with the myth, the main story points are that Icarus and his father Daedalus are trapped on top of a tower overlooking a sea. Daedalus creates wings of wax and feathers so he and his son can escape the tower, However, despite his father's warning, Icarus flies too close to the sun and his wings melt and he crashes into the sea. After laying out the story, I took some inspiration from Aeneas to start writing. In working on a song, she says, I see that writing is more like gardening. You are raking around in the dirt, pulling up weeds. Flowers you love and find beautiful die on you. It's the act of raking that prepares the ground and it's the seeds of those dead, beautiful flowers that replant themselves in it and eventually come up right. So I decided to try and write some seeds of rhymes that I thought would either blossom into usable lyrics or at least offer some fresh soil for something new to grow. Some of these rhymes I ended up using, some I repurposed into new lyrics, and some were left behind. Aeneas calls these unused lyrics orphans, saying, it was the name I gave to any lyric I liked enough to share, but couldn't find a home for. The night before my next writing session, as I was falling asleep, I had a moment of clarity during something similar to what Aeneas would call a liminal nap state. She says that half-sleeping, half-waking nap state can be so fruitful creatively. Throughout working on a song, Aeneas talks about having to focus on what needs to happen for the story to move forward as opposed to relying on the poetic portraiture that she was used to as a songwriter. She says, A concert audience is happy to trance out during a three and a half minutes of music and poetry, but a theater audience demands action from a song. So, in order to push forward the action of the story in my song, I modeled my structure as kind of a three-act play, with each verse conveying the story elements and the choruses acting as the expression of Icarus's wants and needs. My original plan was to use a different melodic and choral content to differentiate the verses with a repeating chorus. However, as I was writing, I felt the music pull me back to the first verse's chord progression, so I ended up using a different rhythmic pattern for each verse to reflect Icarus's building passion. As I came close to finishing my first draft, I knew I wanted to add something before the last chorus, which takes place after Icarus has fallen into the sea and dies. So far, I had written verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, with the choruses almost completely repeating themselves, and the verses having the same chordal structure. Since the song had been building to the moment of Icarus's fatal mistake, I decided to follow Aeneas' advice and write a bridge to the final chorus that also pulls the rug out from under the listener musically. She says about writing the song, Wait For Me, 
The music theater lesson for me had two parts. One, music is emotional shorthand. Two, bridges are a music theater writer's best friend. A musical departure signifies travel, real and psycho-emotional. And travel is what's required in order to feel we've arrived someplace at the end of a scene. After letting the song sit with me for a few days, I went into a final revision before trying to record a demo. As that session plays, I wanted to share a quote from working on a song that really resonated with me. In her notes for the song, We Raise Our Cups, Aeneas says, We raise our cups to Orpheus not because he succeeds, but because he tries. We understand implicitly that there's value in his trying and even in his failure. The act of writing for me has most often been a process of failing repeatedly. But when I step back, I see a different picture. Every line, verse, or chorus, every idea any of us who worked on it ever had, even the ones that never saw the light of day, they're down there. They're the roots of the plant, and the flower wouldn't exist without them. It's important to try, even if it doesn't work out every time. Because like Icarus, some ideas may crash and burn, but from the wreckage something new may grow, something better. Summer changes into fall, nothing changes here at all. Trapped on these tower walls above the sea. For defiance of a king, my father and I are answering, but we are clamoring to. My father's Daedalus, inventor illustrious, he can make gods envious. We will rise. For my father has a plan to fly us to a distant land. On its shores we will stand, look to the sky. says he's fashioning for each of us a set of wings made of wax and feathering but beware fly too high and you'll melt the wax that keeps the feathers intact and the sea will call you back from the I cannot believe my eyes, these wings of such a size, with them I will rise to the clouds. I will heed my father's word, but I won't be deterred, when soaring like a bird to sing out loud. i 
better than Tartarus for them to know the name Icarus. The day of flight has come at last. I follow in my father's path, and the wind is coming fast. We So that was my retelling of the Icarus myth. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked having a pre-existing story structure to write around. I ended up writing a lot more lyrics than I ended up using since I was drawing from an already rich source. And I think this demo version of the song can be expanded on further. So if you have any suggestions for ways to develop and improve the song, let me know in the comments. And if you're a fan of Aeneas Mitchell, 80s Town, or how musicals are written, get a copy of Working on a Song, the lyrics of Hades Town. It is a fantastic look into the process of writing and refining a work for theater. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you at the next video for the Songwriters Workshop.